Here's the first from St. Louis, Missouri. The team of Danny Adams and KLD. Kevin Lee Davidson. No. Strong survive, it's tag team action. No new friends taking on the besties in the world. This is gonna be one hell of a contest here between two awesome tag teams. No new friends, relatively new to the tag team world, obviously not new to the friendship world, taking on the besties in the world. As much as I may not like them, two of the best tag team wrestlers in the entire country in Matt Fitchett and Davey Vega. This one is going to be one for the history books. Davey Vega starting off against Danny Adams. Danny Adams, uh, I, I personally have been a Danny Adams guy from the very start. I plucked this guy out when he was just a trainee and said that he was going to be a star. Now look at him. He's here. He's on the biggest stage in the area. Glory Pro. He's going up against two legit stars in Matt Fitchett and Davey Vega. And he, he's going to go ahead and he's going to face him toe-to-toe -to -toe and he's going to win tonight. That's my prediction. I wish I could tell you more about No New Friends, KLD and Danny Adams. I tried to talk to them before the show, get some notes, but neither one would really give me the time of day. See, they don't make friends. See, I'm not a friend with them necessarily because this is a business. I don't make friends. But I know both of these cats, and I've been with them since the start. And they are ready for this matchup. They're ready to prove that they belong in the tag team division here right at the very top. Davey Vega is nothing to mess with, though. 
I personally may not like their style. I don't like how they like to have fun. I don't like how cocky they are. I don't like how the world just seems to bend to the will of the besties. But these two cats are some of the best wrestlers in the entire world. Matt Fitchett in the ring now, getting the tag from Vega. They're showing you exactly why. And here comes the muscle for no new friends. The big man, KLD. They're going to sit there and showboat, though, and allow KLD to get in this ring. He's as big as both of them combined. KLD is going to square off here with Matt Fitchett. Fitchett recently getting some national exposure. Yeah, Fitchin has been challenging Mr. Go. David Arquette. That seemed to work out for him for WrestleMania weekend. That's, that's like part of my problem with this kid, you know? He, he just he gets everything he wants. All he wants to do about it is complain on Twitter, make a big enough sound about it, and the world just seems to bend to Matt Fitchin's world. Meanwhile, people like me, KLD, and Danny Adams, we're out here grinding to just get a little piece of the pie. Fitchin, looking for that German suplex, could barely wrap his arms around the, uh, the waist of KLD. KLD just kind of throwing him around and it doesn't look like Davey Vega wants any of KLD either. Now listen, I've known Matt Fitchett since he was probably 12 years old. We both grew up in the same town, we went to the same high school. Matt Fitchett's problem has always been that he doesn't think there's a fight that he can't win. But let me tell you, brother, there's some of them you're going to run up against that you just aren't as tough as. That tonight might be one of them nights. You look at him, he's gonna go try, he's not trying to chop down KLD like a smart athlete would. He's trying to go right nose to nose with him. That's just not how you attack a big man like KLD. Everything so far that Matt Fitchett has thrown at KLD has been all towards that upper body, nothing uh, nothing south of the border. That man's all upper bodies, that's what I tell you. Yeah, Fitchett is all heart, he's all emotion. Uh, he doesn't really go in with a game plan. Davey Vega, on the other hand, he's more of the strategist here. So you see him chopping him down. Approach. It's almost like I know what I'm doing here. Davey Vega looking to chop him down. KLD with a clothesline with a grown man on his back. What's the old strategy though? You can strategize all you want until you get punched in the face, right? That's what they say. KLD just throwing dudes around like it's no big deal. It looks like the besties are going to need to regroup here and figure out a new plan. It's hard to regroup when you're getting ran over by a Matt truck, though. Matt Fitchett has rolled out. And KLD has Davey Vega in a bad way, not knowing where he's at. Here comes Danny Adams to pick the remains. That's the work of a good tag team. Danny Adams, or KLD, I should say, didn't really need to tag anyone in, but they're just working back and forth. And that's how tag team wrestling works. These guys want to prove they're every bit as good as the besties. I know Danny Adams has a chip on his shoulder. I have managed Danny Adams since very early in his career in other places. And here, he wants to go and prove he can get in there with a guy like Davey Vega, like a guy like Matt Fitchett, and prove that he's just as good. There you go, Fitchett trying to pick a fight with the biggest man again. Oh my. And he's paying for it. He pays for it. Every single time. Knee to the face by Adams. That could do it right there. So I tell you, it's been Fitch's problem since middle school. Fitch is going to go up to the biggest guy in the room and punch him in the face, regardless of whether or not he could take him. Still to come tonight, our main event. It is our ultimate survival match. Stallion, Baracus, and the boys from Jollyville taking on Jake Something, Paco, Myron Reed, and Steven Wolf. Right now, Matt Fitch is worried about regular survival because he's in there with a large man in KLD. KLD with a front world strongest slam. And here, cut, looking, bringing in Danny Adams for a senton. That's one of their patented maneuvers. Uh oh, is a big man gonna fly here? He can't get over the ring like that. Oh my! The big man, KLG, punishing Matt Fitching, looking for the cover here. Vega with the save. 
Vega not going to let that happen. They are. He is the strategist, as I said, of the team. He is the smarter of the two. Davey Vega picking his spots. But Matt, he might be going this one alone, though. Matt Fitch is out on, I was going to say out on his feet, but he's not even on his feet anymore. KLD laying in those kicks, those punches. Punishing Davey Vega. Punishing Matt Fitchett, sorry. And this is tag team wrestling right here. It's real simple. Winning a regular match is complicated. Winning tag team matches is not complicated. You cut off the ring, you isolate an injured opponent, and you do not let them tag in. And that's exactly what No New Friends is doing. KLD with the tag to Danny Adams. Keeping Fitchett in their corner. Look at that, you cut the ring in half. One, two, no. Adams and KLD firmly in control here. Well, you gotta look at your friend. Look at your friend. Yeah! That ref better get him out of there. Are you kidding me? Look at that, Davy Vega putting the motion to this. And it's costing his bestie. Adam's gonna go for the pin here on Fidget. Two. I don't know how Fitchett much you know. Fidget needs to make a tag. I don't know how much you know about these besties. They're, they've been all over the world. They've been all over the United States. They win titles everywhere they go, but not here. Not yet. They don't have those tag titles right now, and, they're, and no new friends is looking to prove why. Fitchett with some thunderous shots there. Huge boot from Danny Adams, though. I can do it. Just two. KLD coming back in. It's been, uh, it, it, it has to be about 10 minutes since Fitchett's been able to make a tag to Vega and you've seen him in the ring. It just seems like it's... Let him take advantage. I was going to say, it feels like 10 minutes to you, but it feels like an eternity to Matt Fitchett. He's been in there getting punished. 10 minutes up here calling this while we got people bringing us water is nothing compared to 10 minutes down there getting your ass whooped by KLD. This crowd is stunned as well. They love Matt Fitchett. They love Davey Vega. They can Fitchett starting to make that comeback. He's trying to wake up, but they, he just doesn't have it yet. Misses a kick. Squirts away though. Big tag. Here comes the fresh man. Vega goes, hits KLD in the corner, clothesline on Adams, a second one. Most importantly, KLD's on one leg right now. He's down. Davey Vega needs to clear house. Adams reverses it, misses it, and then Vega hits him with the shoulder. I've seen this before. Vega gets him down. Vega strikes, 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 strikes all day from Vega. German suplex into a bridge. There's two. So close there, so close. The besties can't put away Danny Adams. Danny Adams is looking for a tag, but there's no one there. KLD is down. He may be hurt. And the besties, this is the kind of moments that the besties thrive on. They start to get that energy from the crowd, and they start to get the come up, but oh, big shot from Danny Adams. That's how you put him back to earth. Adams will roll through suplex, hits him two in a row. He's gonna go for three. That's the signature Danny move. Into the there you go. Buckle. Into the corner that everybody sees him get dropped on the head, but it really hurts is those ankles going up against those ropes. There's a steel cable wrapped in rubber. Adams calling for the big man here. A little double team work. Oh. Much as those ropes might hurt, doesn't hurt nearly as much as KLD coming straight into your face. That could do it. Just two. So close. One passionate fan has ignited this entire crowd to chant for Davey Vega. Matt Fitchett is still regrouping. Davey Vega is in this thing alone right now. Vega 
Vega is stumbling around using his instincts to try to, to get some offense here. Finch it nowhere to be found right now. Vega in an island on his own and Fitch it then. Like Beetlejuice, there he is. Yep. Quickly gets knocked back out by KLD. Everybody trading strikes here. Here's Danny coming in to try and pick Vega. I could do it. Vega smart rolls out. Big Pele kick from Fitchett. Almost too much strength. Oh my God, turn him inside out. And oh, four men are down. There's a flurry of offense from all four of these men and now none of them are able to get to their feet. And the referee begins his 10 count. All four slowly making their way back up. And all four stand at about the same time. These Titans just going toe to toe. Double super kick on Danny Adams. KLD now down two to one. KLD stumbled by those kicks. Still not all the way to his to his back though. You gotta get the big man down. Lined up in the corner. Oh no, I've seen her come the besties. They call it murder, death, kill. Oh no. The besties are rolling now. This is not good for no new friends. I thought that was it. Instead of this crowd, the crowd shocked. Fitchett calling for Vega to put him up. Could be looking for that brain damage finish that they have. Fitchett is lining him up for a knee. That's exactly what they're looking for. Oh my God! Danny countered through one of the besties at the other. Uh, combo punch and super kick. Vega up with a spine buster. KLD should have finished him off there, but I don't Danny think he was the able to. Man. There we go. No, not enough. Somehow, Vega kicks out at two. Confusion over who the legal man shows you who's been teaming longer. Shows you that experience advantage of the besties that could have been a victory that slipped away because they lost track of who the legal man was. Adams and KLD thinking things over, figuring out how they're going to finish off Vega. Finish it with that big knee. That big knee, he finishes people off with that. Oh my. Huge athleticism for Fitch it. This could be it. Brain damage finisher. There it is. There it is. It's over. No, KLD pulls the rap. Bring awareness from KLD. Is Fitch it? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Is that a fan? That's my outlaw! Oh my god! That's my outlaw! Oh, whoa! Where did he come from? What's he doing here? Why is Mike Outlaw helping no new friends? He just put Adams on top of Vega. Oh my god! What just happened? Danny Adams scores the pinfall thanks to Mike Outlaw? Outlaw's been around the St. Louis area for years, but. Never even heard his name mentioned around Glory Pro. Let me 
introduce you to an old friend of ours. When I 